In Logic Pro, there are two different ways you can view your plugins, controlled view or remote view, aka editor view. Once you have the plugin open, you'll find what said view menu previously and now it usually says controls or editor menu button, depending on which view is in. So if I view right, toolbar, button, bypass, check, custom, pop, side chain, internal, pop up, previous, button, next, button, compare, dim, dim, check, check, controls, menu button. And you see we land on the controls menu button. This is the logic compressor, by the way. If I view a space on this, menu, two items, down arrow, check mark, controls, editor. We have editor, and if I switch to this, closing menu, 100% menu button. We view right, link, uncheck, checkbox. Go past the link button. Platinum digital button. And you notice we didn't have to interact there because now it's just showing us the plugin window. With a lot of plugins now becoming accessible, sometimes you may need to switch over to editor view to view the actual plugin interface as opposed to control view where you just see a list of parameters. In some plugins, this may be called other things. In isotope plugins, it may show up as isotope cocoa view. Just remember whatever view you selected, it's gonna say that menu button. In the case of logic stock plugins, if I view left, Link, uncheck, check 100% menu button. You see it says 100%. That's usually what it will say for logic plugins when it's an editor view because that's the size of the window and those windows are resizable. If I view a space on this, menu, 10 items. Controls. You see controls is the first option, via space. Closing menu, controls, menu button. And I can switch it back to controls view. That's how you can change your views for plugins in Logic. If you want to see how to load a plugin onto a track in Logic, link in the description below. Subscribe for more on Logic.